Hey everyone, how's it going? It is your pal Sal here, and hello again to all the fighters. Today is a big day because uh, Christina Aguilera just dropped a new single. Uh, well, it's new, but it's it's new. It's an oldie but a goodie. So in preparation for the new Mulan movie, Christina Aguilera has been heavily involved with the soundtrack um, because she has already released another single from this album called Loyal, Brave, and True, um, album being, you know, the soundtrack. But uh, we listened to Loyal, Brave, and True on here, and uh, I was a little uh, mixed towards it when I first heard it. I'm liking it a little more now. Still not my favorite, but um, I've kind of been more excited for this. So this is a re-recorded version of Reflection, her like, the, the hit that made her a star back in the day, um, that got her her, her own recording contract. Um, so I was gonna dr do this. My plan was is that I didn't, no one exactly knew when this single was gonna drop. Let's be honest, we weren't exactly sure. Um, we had a feeling it was gonna be Friday, which is, you know, today, but uh, we weren't sure. Um, and so last night, literally, it was a busy night for me. I literally filmed uh, the Selena Gomez new song um, and uh, Katy Perry's new album. Uh, so before I actually start listening to this, I just want to give a quick plea. Um, I just, so I uploaded my reaction to the album, uh, Katy Perry's new album, Smile. And um, if you guys could go check it out, it would mean the world to me. I'm doing a giveaway on it. So uh, you might, you just, you just might want to check it out. I'm just saying. But now we're done with that. So right now we are going to focus on this brand new recording of Reflection. I usually don't do the music videos, but I decided I'm going to give you guys a two for one deal today. I'm going to react to the single and then I'm going to react to the video and we're going to have a little fun. So uh, without further ado, let's listen to the new single, the 2020 version of Reflection. Here we go. By the way, this single artwork is beautiful. Look at me, you may think you see who I really am, but you'll never know me every day. Oh my god, her vocals. It's as if I play a <laughs> okay. part, now I see. Oh, we're building up momentum if quickly. Mask, I can fool the world, but I cannot fool my heart. Staring straight back at me. Wow. When will my reflection show who I am inside? Mm. I am now. Okay, this is a very much more stripped version of the song. I have to hide my heart and what I believe in, but somehow. Oh. When will my 
Okay, so the most um, noticeable thing about this is that there were many things that were sticking out to me is that this is a little different from the original pop version, so I appreciate that. Um, the production-wise and instruments are much more um, soundtrack sounding, like this sounds like a much more, um, a little more connected to the movie than I guess maybe you would think the 90s one was, because the 90s single version is, you know, late 90s single. Um, so this feels a little more, you know, epic, a little more connected. Um, and I appreciated that. It was just different enough where um, it, it, it weren't existing. And the other thing is that what's crazy is that her vocals really don't sound all that much different from the original recording. Like, she still sounds incredible. If anything, maybe she sounds like a little older now. A, a tad, though. It's so slight that at first you might not even notice. Um, whoa. Whoa. Um, the, the ending, for some reason, wasn't working for me fully. How, the, how she did that long note. I liked how it sounded, but then, I don't know. Something was a little off about their production-wise to me. Um, but it was different, so I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that they at least made, made this so different from the original that it, it just warrants its own existence. So, whoa. You know, I might end up seeing the remake. You guys know my thoughts on Disney remakes. I might end up seeing it. I'm not going to pay $30 for Di from Disney Plus to see it. But um, maybe when it comes out on Blu-ray, I can... I can rent it from the library <laughs> and give it a shot. Um, but right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over um, to watch the music video. Uh, so I just got to turn off my speaker and connect my AirPods so that way I can sync the video up perfectly. I, From what I was seeing on Instagram, um, there were like little clips that were popping up. The video looks actually really, really cool. So I'm going to scoot over here. And I'm gonna pull this up. And here we go, we are about to watch the video now, so I'll, let's let's see what we think. Oh, okay, so it's still single cover-y-ish. Um, that dress is gorgeous. Oh God, she's gorgeous. Look at me, oh. you may think you see. Oh my God, this dress is beautiful. Oh, whoa. Wear that mask. I can fool the world, but I cannot fool my heart. Aww. I love the water. Ooh, it's that girl last oh, they're including clips from the film. Somehow, oh, she's crying. Poor Mulan. What's uh, my heart can be loved for who I love that water. That's funny. I love that. Oh, oh, oh. that girl I see? Reach out. Her inner inner lace nicely, I like that. Oh. You know, this Mulan um, footage does not look bad. It looks rather good. It kind of looks very similar to the style filming of the Beauty and the Beast remake. But I didn't dislike that filmmaking. I just disliked that there was a remake. Outfit because they did her right. 
Oh, and the nails match. I just noticed that. The water. I can't. I like that, kinda. Still's not completely working for me right there, but you know what? I'll get used to it. It probably did not take them that long to film this, and I love that. Mm. That was lovely. Okay. So, um, this is definitely, you know, another one of those, well, obviously, because, I mean, what else can they do right now? But it's one of those, you know, quarantine videos. I mean, this probably did not take too long to shoot, but, um, I think that this was much more effective, to, for me at least, than the, um, the Loyal, Brave, and True video. Um, it was just a little too green screeny for me. This one, um, it was really cute. I mean, the outfit just is a winner. That's a, that's an award-winning outfit right there. Her hair and makeup is gorgeous. Um, and then this version's actually really growing on me. Um, it's more adult. Um, but again, what's really sticking out to me is just the fact that she does not sound that much different. I mean, wow. I mean, wow. Um, God, Christina, you oh my God. I'm so happy I've been doing these videos. I've really come to appreciate this woman and I absolutely love that. Oh, this video is number 25 on trending, so... Woohoo for Christina. Woohoo for Christina. There we go. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was really feeling this new version of Reflection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, what did you think of this new, of this new, uh, this new version? Let me know. Because as always, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please share. Please sharing helps me. Put it on the Twitter, the Facebook, whatever works best for you. Um, and don't forget to comment. I already said that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but um, follow me on Instagram. It's Salvador J. Rocha. And uh, again, uh, please, 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 check out my uh, video reaction to the Katy Perry Smile album. I'm really happy with it. I've been feeling that album today. But, um, and there's a giveaway, there's a giveaway. I mean, I might, you might get something, so you never know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Be sure to check out my, all my Christina Aguilera discography journey. We're almost done tomorrow. Liberation goes live. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to see what I thought of that album. Um, but, uh, have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.